easiest way to think of it is if you think of a, like a garden hose tube, that's, that's a blood vessel. So blood normally just runs right through that, and uh, an aneurysm is like a weakness in that, and this wall can balloon out like so. Actually, uh, when an aneurysm ruptures, there's a 50% chance that people don't even make it to the hospital, which is why it's very important to try and treat these before that's the issue. Um, traditionally, there's a couple of ways to treat the aneurysm, one of which is to make a big incision on someone's head, and that's actually what she had previously, uh, make a bone window come down on the outside so you can actually physically see on the outside a balloon on, on the vessel, and then you can put a clip from the outside, pinching this off so that no blood can go in. And, and that'll prevent it from, from rupturing. Uh, now, what we do in the minimally invasive way is go inside the vessel, a vessel, a vessel in your leg, uh, and get very, very small catheters up. And a catheter is basically a little small tube here, and you get it very precisely in the aneurysm, and then you can re release the coil, that is, you, you put the coil all the way from the leg, and you feed it all the way up this tiny little catheter, and it comes out the tip, and then you just fill the inside of it. The idea is to fill the inside of it so much that no blood goes in, and so then it can't rupture. So, uh, you know, if there's no blood going into it, you're not going to have a problem. And so that's, that's what we mean when we say we're coiling an aneurysm. Um, but that's the basic idea. A few things that you might see on the x-ray, because basically when you're looking through x-ray, you obviously can't see inside the patient's head. We have to look at various things. Um, the, there, there are a few, few, we're basically looking for dots that are on the catheters. This is actually important or else you'll look at the images that we're about to show you, and you'll be like, you know, what are they doing? What are they doing? But basically, there are a few markers that are important to notice. The catheters, the microcatheter, has a marker at the tip and a marker here. So you'll see a set of dots like that, and essentially that's all you're going to really see for the catheter. And so that's important to look at. Um, the other thing is, is there's going to be another catheter, it's called a balloon catheter, but it has two markers like so, and that marks where the balloon part is, and sometimes when we blow the balloon up, you'll actually see it fill up like this. So those are the two basic things you're going to see overall. So just giving you an introduction as to what you're going to see on the uh, pictures. Can you show them uh, and that where the balloon will go and why we use oh, it? Oh, yeah. So the balloon catheter... You can do a blue, blue mark yeah. if you want. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. color, color change is good. Yeah. Okay. So a balloon catheter is another little catheter, kind of like this. And it'll have, like, marks here and here. Uh, there'll be a wire going through here. You, you'll probably see the wire. There'll be wires going through these catheters like this, so you'll see something like this. But the balloon, what it does and why it's so important is that when it's blown up, or inflated, rather, it lays across the neck like this. It's kind of like having an extra finger inside the vessel to hold it so that when you put this coil up, it won't come out. Because obviously, if the coil comes out and floats off into here, the patient's going to have a stroke. Um, so basically, that's, that's our procedure in a nutshell. <laughs>